now that we have a little terminology under our belts and we've started to plan out our database on paper, let's go ahead and start up Access and begin building our database. Let's go ahead and start up Access. I'll click on my Start button and go to All Programs and Microsoft Access. Just to talk briefly about the different parts of the screen, across the very top we have our title bar where it says Microsoft Access. To the right we have our Minimize, Maximize, and Close buttons. Here we have our Menu bar and our toolbar. Across the bottom of the screen we have our status bar. You'll find all of these components so far very similar to their counterparts in Microsoft Word and Excel. I talk about menu bars and toolbars and such in much more detail in the Word and Excel classes. So if you're familiar with those, finding a way around access will be very similar. Now one of the things that's different from Access from Word and Excel is that Access does not automatically start you up in a blank database. Word and Excel both start you up in blank documents and spreadsheets respectively. But with Access you're just given a blank empty program and expected to know what to do with it. Well, we need to create ourselves a blank database shell. And we can do that over here on the task pane by clicking on blank database under where it says new. Now yes, there are many different ways to start up databases. We're going to start today with a blank database. Now if you're using a version of Access before Access XP, if you're using 2000 or 97, you can click on File and then New Database. If you're using Access XP, just click on Blank Database here on the task pane. And you will get the File New Database dialog box. Now again, unlike Word, where you create a document and then save it, Access wants you to save the database first, and then you can work with it. So make sure that you're saving your database in your My Documents folder, or wherever else your computer people have told you to save files to. Come down to the bottom here, next to where it says File Name, and let's give our database a name. I'm going to be creating a database for our fictional computer company called PCResale.net. So I'm going to call this my PC Resale Customer. I'm going to be creating a customer database for my fictional computer company. So I'm going to type in PCResale.net Customer Database. And you can type in any file that you choose. Come over here to the right now and click on Create. And now you should see Microsoft Access with a blank database shell window opening up. This window here is called the Database Window. And you'll see the name of your database across the top, PCResale.net Customer Database. Across the top we have a toolbar here that says Open design and new and some other buttons to change the way that the data is viewed in this window. Down the left hand side we'll see the different database components that are available. Tables, queries, forms, reports, pages, macros, and modules down toward the bottom. There's also a favorites group down here and modules down toward the bottom. Right now, we're looking at our list of tables. And right now, we have no tables. So all we see over here are some shortcuts. Create table in design view. Create table using wizard. Create table by entering data. And we'll talk more about these in just a few minutes. But we can switch between the different database objects by simply clicking over here. This would be our list of queries, forms, reports, and so on. Let's make sure we're looking at our list of tables so we're ready for the next lesson.